Hey guys, welcome back. It's Alex with Alex's Reef. So today I'm just going to go over a quick update so you can kind of see the tank, see how it's going. Uh, but mainly, I've added a couple new supplies to the tank, and so I'm just going to go over what I'm using on this tank, as well as what I'm using to feed this tank, and where I'm getting it from. We're always out there looking for good deals, and being able to find them is a very key in this hobby. Otherwise, you could end up spending a lot of money. And I don't like spending that money. I like to be a reefer on a budget. So sometimes getting stuff for a better deal is a good thing. So come with me. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I do rock quite a bit of the Brightwell Aquatics supplement lineups here. I do have the Calc Plus 2, the Reef Code A, and Reef Code B. Now those items are all about the same. The Reef Code A and B are more of a supplement for the Calc if I notice my levels are dropping more than my Calc can take care of. And the Reef Code B is used a lot more than my Reef Code A because you do see a lot of things like the alkalinity and stuff dip outside of the range that I would like it to be in, uh, which is normally a little bit higher. And it just helps to kind of boost it up just so that it kind of stays there. Now we do also use the Replenish as well. Uh, and that Replenish takes care of any of your minor trace elements and minerals. All right, guys. So moving on, I do also have the Medicore Coral Dip. A fantastic coral dip that it is. It is a three-part uh, dip, and then it also has iodine in it as well. And what I've noticed is I've used this on the corals when they come in. It's a great dip to kill off a lot of things, but as well as any time that my corals start to show any kind of degradation, uh, that is something that I would take them to, or if I have any health concerns of the corals, I would take them to that dip, and they tend to bounce back even better a day or two after they've been dipped. And I've only had to do that to maybe two different corals ever. Uh, and so it's really nice to see that they, they've come back after that kind of dipping. Now I also have the uh, coral color there, uh, and that is something new that I've added. And basically it's a uh, color booster, kind of like what the Red Sea color package does and stuff, except it's all wrapped up in the one bottle, which is nice. And the vitamin M, which is a multivitamin, uh, broad range vitamin and amino acids and all kinds of things like that uh, just mixed into one form there a fantastic thing for both the general tank and as well as a food supplement for like your fishes and invertebrates and things like that now also sitting there is in the middle is not one of the Brightwell aquatic products but a uh, fauna marine a product which I am trying out which is the uh, Bacter Bioballs uh, and basically they're just bacteria in a ball shape instead of a liquid form like what you would get with the uh, back Microbacter 7 from Brightwell Aquatics. Uh, so this is just a little bit more convenient of a dosing as it's two balls per 25 gallons every two weeks. And so i am kind of been giving them out a shot. Now most of this Brightwell Aquatics product lineup I do order and I actually get it in from BRS. Uh, BulkReefSupply.com. Guys, go check those guys out. You can sign up as a preferred reefer and get some point extra points back on your percentage. Uh, now, the Bacter Balls, those are a tryout uh, from SaltwaterAquarium.com, and I love those guys as well, and I'll talk about them a little bit later. Now moving on to the fish food, uh, you can tell that I do use the uh, Reef Chili from BRS. I also use the uh, Hikari Marine S and the Hikari Seaweed Extreme. They're both fantastic items. I also have the Hikari Dehydrated Prime Shrimp. And that is something new that I've ordered in. Uh, I normally feed frozen shrimp like my sense of brime and this is some dehydrated brime shrimp from hikari that is uh, dehydrated at the point of potential of them being gut loaded and instilled in a nitrogen gas so that they stay longer uh, i've seen them advertised before never tried them out so this is going to be a new experiment for them i also have some pe mycin uh, pellets i've had them for a while i've kind of tried them out from time to time i'm really not a huge fan of them uh, and I noticed that if I tried to feed them to the fish or even to the corals, nobody really takes to them. They do go after the uh, Hikari Marine S in the Seaweed Extreme, though. And, of course, the corals go nuts for the reef chili powder. But other than that, guys, besides most of these, most of this I do get at BRS as well. 
and the C, the PE Mycin sample packet that came from saltwateraquarium.com. Now the difference is is that I do order most of my food and my supplies like my supplements and stuff like that from BRS. Of course I ordered my rock as well from there and I ordered uh, my sand. But most of my other supplies have all come from saltwateraquarium.com. So guys, like I said, I do use BRS, uh, bulkreefsupply.com. A fantastical website for supplies and other other equipment as well. Uh, this is just mainly where I use a lot of my supplements, my a lot of my feeding and things like that. I do get from them. It is some of the best prices on the market through these guys as well. All right, guys. So moving on over to the other supplier. Like I said, I do use saltwateraquarium.com quite a bit. They are a Google trusted store as well as they are on Amazon and eBay as well as their own storefront. Uh, you do get some more perks through their own storefront instead of going through them on Amazon or eBay. Like they do have a reward system as well. Uh, but also when I shop for my equipment, I like to try and find the best deal and I find a lot of times it's going to be on saltwateraquarium.com. Now, I'm not paid to say this in any form, shape, or way. Just being honest with the truth here. I go under the clearance section. I find things like my protein skimmer, my heater. Those items were on clearance. I picked up a Neotherm 100-watt heater for less than $33. I picked up my protein skimmer, the 9001 Tunzi protein skimmer. That originally was like 116 and I picked it up for 86 all with using the coupon code SOLD. These guys are also giving out great deals. Not only did I pick up those items from them as well, but I was also able to pick up my new LED um, loop light from Current USA, as well as the pump and the whole setup for that. Uh, basically, I bought the light, they gave me the pump for free. Uh, so that was nice. I was also able to get the uh, hanging mount which happened to be on clearance as well and got another 10% off on that. Uh, so nice things as well as my ATO was also on the clearance side and got another additional 10% plus the markdown price as well. So like I said guys, I'm always shopping around for a deal and in no way was I ever paid to even promote these guys or even say anything about them just from my own experiences. I'll leave a link down below for BRS and for these guys. Go check them out, set up an account, and look at everything.